Hi, I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonline.com and this video we will explore a great blues lick to exercise with if you have slow fingers. And I will first play the lick and then we will explore why this lick works to build up speed and how to do it. <laughs> So there are many things that go into building speed um, and to fasten up your fingers, but one of the most essential and often overlooked ingredients of building speed is two-hand synchronization. And two-hand synchronization goes about synchronizing both hands together. And this is really important because if we want to play fast, but your left hand is a tad faster than your right hand, this of course doesn't really go well into building speed up uh, in a clean way. It will sound really sloppy if you do this. And thus we have all kinds of exercise that we could explore, but I do believe if you want to get into blues guitar playing, that it doesn't really uh, is in your best interest to use just random exercises that build speed because they aren't applicable to blues guitar playing. So this exercise is an example of what you can do to build speed but also at the same time to build up your blues guitar playing because such licks are being played by a lot of blues guitarists so you can then also implement it into your own playing and to use it in your own souls. So I will explain the lick note by note can follow along with the tablature here below. What makes this a great exercise to build speed up on is that we have to pick each string at the same moment that our left hand has to press the string down and it is a really fast lick so this needs to be synchronized together. And uh, let's also talk about fingerings that I use. So you, you see that I'm using the ring finger here on the eighth fret, which is a really common way to play in blues style. But also to play the blue note here, because we're playing the A blues scale, on the G note, the eighth fret, I'm playing, I'm using this third finger. And also on the seventh fret, I'm using the middle finger, which is uncommon in certain styles of playing. A lot of guitarists uh, um, play it like this. With the pinky finger on the eighth fret and the ring finger on the seventh fret. Now, this only adds up a little bit to building speed, but it is important enough to talk about um, because the reason why I'm using here the ring finger and the middle finger on the seventh and the eighth fret is because I don't want to use the pinky finger in combination with the ring finger. And if we play the lick like this, then we can only use here on the eighth and seventh fret the pinky finger and the ring finger. So. Uh, the reason why I don't want to use those fingers at the same time is because of this. Whenever I'm using my pinky finger, then this finger moves again, uh, moves with it. And this is because they use the same muscle, those two fingers. So it's harder to get those nuances, these control nuances. And when talking about playing fast, it doesn't really work in your favor when you want to play the pinky finger and also this finger moves uh, with it uh, at the same time. So that's why I'm using here this finger ring where I'm playing with the ring finger and the middle finger. You can choose whatever you want. It's not forbidden to do it with the pinky finger, but this is my particular choice and a lot of great uh, blues guitarists and uh, st um, guitarists in other style prefer this fingering as well because of this reason here. But when talking about building speed, 
uh, we were talking about two hand synchronization that we can build so if you practice this lick and if you practice it sloppy you won't build speed but if you practice it at various um, metronome speeds <laughs> I will see that your picking will become more in sync with your left hand and if you really focus on the feeling of when the left hand when the fretting hand presses down the string and then also at the same exact moment and then your picking hand hits the string you will feel uh, movement uh, progress and your uh, and and the build up of this particular lick and the synchronization of both hands which will translate and into building speed at various levels in your playing. All right, one more important thing you will notice when practicing such licks like this, when practicing two-hand synchronization, is that at a certain point in, in building speed, you will notice that things start to fall apart. And I will give you an example of this. <laughs> So you can notice that this particular lick didn't really sound all that clean and did sound like really out of sync uh, from a rhythmic standpoint. And this is because my two hands weren't at sync here. So your maximum speed is the speed in which you can play it a few times in a row uh, cleanly. And this is also the speed we want to get Two, but then we want to push yourself and to get into the territory of what I was doing right now and see where it all comes falling apart and if you find the particular speed where it all comes falling apart then a lot of people say well only practice slower than this but I would go against this general knowledge and I would say push yourself also at certain times so you get the feeling of how it feels to play faster and also try to synchronize your both hands even when playing above your maximum speed level. Not only, uh, we don't want to practice at all times uh, above your maximum speed level, but doing this sometimes will work in your favor because you can clean up certain aspects of your playing even when playing fast sometimes but at the same time sometimes we find it easier to clean up our playing by just going through the motions like this and in this example i was really watching my picking hand here so to watching every move making sure I don't have excess, excessive tension here or I'm not using too large of a movement in between the strings. This is great practice to do this on a slow level and if you're practicing slowly like this you will notice your playing cleans up even more. But this is an, another um, example of what goes into the many aspects that go into building speed. And as I said before, one of the biggest things is the synchronization of both hands. So if you want to synchronize both hands, you need to determine your maximum speed and also practice sometimes above this speed. And you can see that there are multiple things going into building speed here. But if you want to get into rock or blues based playing, I would say uh, practice two hand synchronization exercises like these that are perfectly usable in your playing licks that you then when you you have the speed when you've built the speed on these licks you can then use in your playing because a lot of technical exercises are really boring to practice and aren't really applicable into any solo so this is an example of something that we can once learned use immediately and or soloing so hope you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you get the newest youtube videos on your home feed and also check out the website where you can download my uh, free blues guitar blues guitar ebook on how to play fast blues guitar licks where i explain each lick note by note